Ta -da! We have a new AeroPress. This is the new generation AeroPress. So Alan Adler, um, he recently sold the company to a new group, to a new corporation. Um, and what they did was they gave everything that the people are asking. So they made a clear AeroPress, number one. And then the second that they did was they released an Excel um, AeroPress, which is exactly, it looks exactly like the AeroPress, but bigger. And then the third thing that they gave the, um, they gave the coffee community was this. It is the colored clear AeroPress. So of course I got the purple one. Um, if you want to get yourself um, your own uh, AeroPress that is colored and clear, you can do so by contacting Cafe uh, Kalakal on Instagram and Facebook or look for his shop on Shopee and Lazada. We have the new generation AeroPress. Um, I've already um, opened it, but today I'm gonna show you. So I'm just gonna get the old AeroPress. Right, so the old generation AeroPress, which which is the Alan Adler, um, Alan Adler time, looks like this. It's a very industrial looking AeroPress, industrial in color. Um, I'm not sure what type of material he used with this one. Yeah, but this is the original, very iconic AeroPress. On this side, this is the new AeroPress. This is the new generation AeroPress. Yeah, there. Right, um, and in the box, it came with only this. And filters right so for those of you who don't know the the old AeroPress like the Alan Adler AeroPress came with um, all of these accessories right so you have a scoop you have a stirrer you have a funnel and you have a paper filter holder for your table so you can put it there, okay, and then stack your AeroPress on top of it. And then put your um, funnel, your stirrer, and your scoop. And this is the only space that the AeroPress is going to take up on your table. Neat, right? All right. Um, the new generation... AeroPress, however, didn't come with most of the accessories that you can see right here. So it only came with a stirrer and a scoop, which doesn't make sense because we never use the scoop. <laughs> we always have a scale with us. And okay, um, the paper, the paper filter. There has been a lot of. Um, there has been a lot of talks and posts about the paper filter. If you're if you're not familiar with it, the old AeroPress came with 350 sheets of free paper filter. So right off the box, when you buy this at I don't know at a store, right off the box you can actually brew coffee for almost a year, for 350 days without buying anything additional for it. And the new generation, uh, I'm not sure how many they, they've included, but I'm guessing this is around 50. Yeah, that's just my guess. This is around 50, 50 sheets of paper filter. And people are um, having problems with it. Yeah, so let's talk about the difference about the two. 
So, um, a couple of days ago, I've already um, checked, inspected most of the accessories that came with, that they both have, and I've seen some differences. Right, so, the old generation um, scoop feels a lot thicker. Yeah, feels more premium on your hand. The new generation feels like very cheap. I think they they reduced the amount of plastic that they used here. Um, it's not that much, but as you can see, the handle is the handle is even shorter. Yeah, so just a bit. But again, we don't really use the scoop, so why have an issue there, right? And then the stirrer. The stirrer that you use for when you are brewing, it also has um, some significant difference in them. So the new generation is, is obviously thinner. Um, you would by, by first touch, you would know that they reduced the amount of plastic that was used to create this. Um, it's not stiffer. Yeah, they. I, I think they used the same um, type of plastic, but they only um, reduced the amount to be able to create one of these. Yeah. And then, what else? Oh, another thing that I noticed um, that is different from the old one and the new generation AeroPress is this. Look at the filter holders. So this is the old generation. The holes are lined up in a grid pattern and then this is the new generation. So the holes are a bit bigger and they are in a, cir in, they are in a circular um, pattern. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a caliper and try and measure this. So the holes of the new generation is 3 mm. Oh all right so they're both um They are both uh, 3mm, but they are simply in different. Uh, they're simply in different um, pattern. I'm not sure if there's a significant difference in when you brew with them, because with the uh, espresso, the naked porta filters, you know the basket. So with the basket, um, by changing the pattern of the holes alone you get a significant change with the uh, um, espresso that you pull out of that. So I'm not sure if the AeroPress gets the same uh, same difference, but yeah, that is... So that is, that is basically the main difference of the old AeroPress and the new generation AeroPress. I'm very happy with the uh, new clear arrow press because when you when you actually brew with it you can see the insides of it so you know that if you have you can easily check if you have coffee grounds that are not wet yet so you can easily check that um, especially when you do your inverted method but yeah I think I'm gonna use this more because just simply because of the color <laughs> and also because that it's clear in the next videos we're gonna brew with the new generation AeroPress and I'm gonna show you the joy of seeing the inside of your AeroPress when you pour your water and you put your coffee grounds in oh it's such a joy but anyway um, I think that's it for this episode Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!